I'm Rick Liberale with another edition of the Week in Review. The Forest Service recently announced Stage 1 fire restrictions for the Sulphur Ranger District, banning all fires, smoking, fireworks, outdoor welding, as well as operating a chainsaw without a spark arresting device. Grand County, Winter Park, and Grand Lake have implemented similar bans. The ground dried out these last few weeks, pushing the fire danger to the high mark. Non-compliance could bring heavy fines and jail time. Governor Hickenlooper is proposing a multi-state Western Task Force air team to combat wildfires in the Rocky Mountain region of the United States. The jump team, the support crews, and machinery would be utilized for fires from Arizona to Montana and follow the seasons. Generally, fires start early in the spring in the south and move north as the summer dries out the earth in the region. The cost and details are still in the infancy stages, but Hickenlooper's proposal is intended to be shared equally by the participating states. Infinite West and Rocky Mountain Resource and Reuse Center announced two new programs to Grand County that will upcycle and recycle what some people might consider to be trash. Both programs will operate at the Rocky Mountain Resource Center at its location in Granby. The program will consist of a self-service drop-off point that will operate 24 hours a day. Upcycling is the process of converting waste materials or useless products into new materials or products of better quality, creating better environmental value. Upcycling is the second component of the reduce, reuse, recycle waste hierarchy. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett took time out of his busy schedule to visit a new mill in Partial last week. Bennett is hoping to learn how private industry can both process the state's abundance of beetle kill and provide a boon to the economy. Bennett joined mill owner Dave Fiala, state and federal foresters, Grand County commissioners and local loggers to learn about the mill's processing, job creation and potential to process the county's excess beetle kill. The mill currently employs 31 people, but Fiala said he hoped to bring on an additional 15 workers soon. This summer, Fraser kids aged 3 through 18 can help themselves to a free lunch every Tuesday and Thursday at Mercy Housing's Wapiti Meadows. The summer food program run by the Mountain Family Center will run through August. For more information, contact the center at 725-3257. And a quilt exhibit opened this week at the Cousins Ranch Museum in Fraser and runs through August 11th. The exhibit features over 75 quilts from heirloom collectibles to contemporary expressions throughout the 12 rooms of the museum. Themes for the quilt exhibition include heritage quilts, patriotic quilts, children's quilts, and visions of Grand County. For TV18, I'm Rick Liberale, and I will see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.